Yeah, okay, now it's fine. Alright, Shalom, my kingdom, all praise and glory to you. I'm watching y'all shine. Double honors to the apostle, great millstone honors and salutation to you, brother, diligently seeking the Lord in truth and sincerity. Lord's name, Yahweh, uh, his son's name, Yahweh Shai. Um, go ahead, huh? And um, pretty much we're going to get into the the full uh, gr uh, ramifications of those who who get the um, RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. And um, what pretty much what it means as far as like, you know, being um, condemned of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in the time of Jacob's trouble, you know. So uh, my, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter nine, starting at one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." And how do we measure the time? We measure the time by the prophecies uh, of the scriptures and by by current events. And, you know, we realizing that the time of Jacob's trouble and the time where these devils implementing that, that RFID chip as far as for the grounds of uh, t domestic terrorism and whatnot it is near, you know. So they about to pretty much start, you know, getting this thing under underway as far as, you know, their, their plans for that new world order, you know. And it's a time where our salvation and deliverance is, is near. Know, to receive the, the kingdom of heaven and for you know the elect to be sealed 144,000 and for Yahweh Shai to come come and save us and, and um, for our deliverance you know so I'll start again this is uh, second Ezra 9 to 1 he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, and that's taking place now. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, you know, all these natural disasters, you got all of these uh, different different groups, you know, making uproars against uh, Esau and his government, you know, protesting around the world, you know. That's happening everywhere too, right? Huh. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the very beginning. Because the Most High, you know, he, this is this is his movie. This is everything. Everything that's going on that you see in the world today is based off, you know, the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh as far as what he spoke back then, and it's coming to pass and playing out as we speak. You know, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. All right. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders, and powerful works, and endings, and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. And that's to the that's going towards the hopeful elect, you know, by us, you know, being um, Avaratazah, you know, blessed to endure unto the end and in faith and doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, we we hope to be delivered. You know. mm -hmm. uh, quick precept: Matthew twenty-four and four. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And I mean, that can't fit, fit no more perfectly than to these uh, so-called Christians out here. You know, they, they claim to be of the anointed, but they're not of the, the anointed. They are of, of uh, the devil, Satan, mm -hmm. because they teach a contrary doctrine to what the truth of the, of the scriptures are. You know, they're not telling our people that they're um, the Israelites, the, the true chosen people of the Bible. They're, um, you know, promoting that it's okay for you to, um, you know, not keep or follow after the laws. You know, as far as um, you can eat unlawful meats, you know, or it's, uh, blast, uh, it's um, a doctrine of the devil to um, teach that uh, you can, uh, that you can, uh, Basically, you can't. You're not supposed to eat pork. 
Yeah, the no. doctrine of the devil to teach people not to eat pork, which is <laughs> in the law. Yeah, right. Dennis. Mm -hmm. All right. That fucking That's nigga, man. That's shit, man. He got mm -hmm. to say it, man. That's and then, shit. I mean, as far as, you know, that shit's going towards them being playing the role of deceiver. The, the deceiver, the deceived and the deceiver are his, are, the, are, are who's the most high. Mm -hmm. So, he already preordained for, you know, those that's led astray to be led astray. Right. You know? A little bit more. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. The, the current rumor of war is uh, World War Three. you know? Mm -hmm. And there are plenty of wars going on. Huh. The proxy war between America and Russia, known as the known as the Syrian conflict or the the ISIS conflict or whatever they call it now, but that's really just a proxy war between America and Russia, you know, and all the other countries that America is invading. Uh, America is also invading Puerto Rico after that hurricane. They didn't sent in their military troops. And really, you ain't hearing much about what's going on in Puerto Rico ever since they didn't sent their military troops. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Huh. And um, continuing on, it says uh, Second Ezra 9 and verse 8 says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right, so, you know, those that the Most High Yahweh chose for deliverance through Yahweh Shai, they were already sealed from the, be from the beginning. You know, that, that's our faith and that's our hope. You know, that's why we can, we're continuing in these works, you know, that, that we may hopefully be able to be that number. You know, to be of those that were, that were, you know, written, you know, as far as written in the book of life to receive salvation. While two thirds of our people and all that, that, um, this devil Esau caused to receive the RFID chip, you know, they, they were, would remain in the congregation of the dead to be destroyed. You know, they were preordained, they were predestined to that. I got a quick oh, you got something? Well, I'm going to bring out this Ephesians real quick. All right. Because uh, since you mentioned about the elect being sealed. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Ephesians chapter 1, uh, verse 3. It says, Blessed be the, 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 hold on. Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in, the, in Yahweh Shai, according as he had chosen us in him before the, the foundation of the world. That we should be holy and without blame before Him in love, and that's uh, what the hope for the elect is laboring uh, to do. You know, we, uh, you know, we, you know, we, we hope to be a part of the elect. You know, Alvarado we we, we labor on the highways and the hedges. You know, we putting up videos edifying the Akim, and that's uh, what um, you brothers that call yourself men of the Lord should be doing. You know, God. if you if you if you sincere, you know, do the work. You know, like the other apostles always going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got um. Precept Jeremiah chapter 1 and 4. Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. You know, just basically reiterating the point. Before the, before we even came out, the Lord uh, ordained us to do this. Just like he also ordained the wicked to be the wicked. You know? And what, what's the job of the prophet? Prophesy. prophesy, you know, prophesy and tell the words and exalt the words of Yahweh Shah, you know, warn the people, you know, of uh, 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 you know, uh, things that's coming, you know, from Yahweh Shah, the things that he's going to put, uh, the place he's going to put forth upon this earth, you know. Mm -hmm. This is um, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Right. So, I mean, that that, that lets you know that um, as far as two-thirds of our people, 
Mosiah already has a preset to where they can't perceive this truth in order to be converted and healed because they're already set aside, aside for judgment. You know? That's why, you know, when we out there on the highways and hedges, that's why, you know, they refuse even even though we come in straight out, straight out of the scriptures, you know, precept upon precept to bring them the gospel and the, the revelation of, of the real gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, to bring them unto salvation, you know. This is uh, wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, what they did, what the, and what our people do, you know. They, they, you know, talk stuff, they scoff, you know, scorn, scoff, you know. Yeah, we trying to, you know, warn them for them, you know, when this coming, destruction is coming, you know. <clears throat> this is uh, wisdom of Solomon. Uh, chapter 13 verse 1 it says surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah right you know, and that's and two thirds of all people are you know and even the ones that do know they don't take heed so it's like you know uh, what, what good is that you know you know you know that you're Israelite you know Heavenly Father's name but you just said your folly Right, says, going on still going on still in your trespasses. Come. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, uh you know, <laughs> saturating in uh iniquity, you know. Uh, it says, um, surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. And who's the workmaster? This is a. Uh, no, you got one. This is a uh, John chapter eight verse thirty one. Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Right. So you know we we believe in in, in Yahweh Shai, you know, and hopes for salvation because you know two thirds you know. Those that believe not, they are they're already condemned. So, you know, we pressing on, laboring in the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, which shows that we we're part of His discipleship. You know, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. uh, I got more on that. Mm -hmm. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. so, that's a cut. Yeah. That, that's a cut. So you know, we. I mean, as far as being caught in, into this truth, I mean, we've been made free from the bondage and corruption of this world in hopes for that that incor incorruptible um, uh, world wh wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know? That's the truth. To, uh, that, I mean, that's a, not true, but that's a cut to Christianity. But this is the truth. Mm -hmm. God, you know? Because y'all still in bondage under, under Christianity. Y'all still follow after um, the image of the beast, you know? And it's not just going into, you know, the elders already, apostles already broke that down. It's not just going into Caesar Bolger or, um, you know, you know that, that false image or white white Jesus. But it's also going into, you know, being a part of, wanting to continue to be a part of this wicked society, you know, that oppress you, you know, that's following after the image or the system of the beast. Mm -hmm. And that's going to lead to your destruction. Then answered him, we, uh, so, uh, well, then answered him, we be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, you shall be made free? And how shall I answer them? Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And how did Yahweh Shai make made us free? Through through um his death and resurrection, you know, through being crucified for our for our transgressions. That the grace of, of, of the most high, you know, will that will be verified, you know. And be found blameless. That that would that would you know, that's redeeming us back to the Heavenly Father. That's 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 adopting us back to the Heavenly Father, you know, by Yahweh's blood. You know, so we would so so that's that's a big deal, man. That's not something to be taken lightly. All right. This is Zechariah chapter eight, verse chapter thirteen, verse eight, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, 
two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the uh, third shall be left therein. All the rebellious, all those who, you know, refuse, refuse the, the truth, even though it's, it's all coming out with all these videos that we're putting out. They want to shun the truth and still be conformed to uh, Christianity or any other false doctrine or religion or idols, mm -hmm. you know, or the ways of, of this world, you know, following after, you know, vain customs like Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, following after the um, image of the beast, you know, the ways of, 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 of the Roman Empire, you know. Esau. Okay. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will find them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. All right, so the one third of our people is going to go, go through that purification in our time of trouble. And he's, he's going to, you know, sanctify them so that, you know, at, during our time of trouble, we're going to be delivered. They shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say Yahweh is my power. Huh. Right, and, and, I mean, it ain't Jehovah or Jesus. Mm -hmm. that, that's not the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. It's Yahweh, and the name Baasham, Yahweh Shah. That's that's what the elect and one third is going to be calling upon for deliverance. Huh. And you have to have faith to believe in that name. You know, anybody who can who um, I'm, and I'm quoting the precept. You know, I might as well get it after I quote it, but um. If you believe in that name, you can't call, you know, or believe in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. because you believe and acknowledge that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High, but through the Holy Spirit. So, with that, that shows that you've been, you know, you have been sealed, you know, through the Holy Spirit. You know? So, uh, I'll get that precept. I was uh, uh, holding this uh, Real quick about the two thirds. Okay. Uh, so this was Solomon um, fourteen verse nine for the ungodly, and you had mentioned that you know, how the two thirds will be set uh, to do iniquity and they gonna accept the truth. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter fourteen verse nine for the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto the Most High. That's and that's and that's plain. You know that's you know that's why two thirds gotta go. And that's what I let, like the brother said, gonna call on, go come back to our power and, and call on the names Yahweh, 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 Shai. Yeah. All right, it's gonna go out and do the work, you know, and, and, and labor uh, and prove our faith by our works. All right, being diligent, you know. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah 11 and 11. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. Right. So Jesus ain't gonna save in the time of Jacob's. The, Jesus ain't gonna save in the time of Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. I mean, you niggas are still call on Jesus Christ. You know, y'all y'all gonna be in trouble in that day. Because y'all had the opportunity to heed on to the, the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai through his prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, but you, you scorned, you made mockery. You know? So, you know, that's pretty much going to be a wrap for you. 13. For according to the number of thy cities. So I got dark. I got you. Yeah, just turn it off. For according to the number of thy cities were were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Okay. Therefore pray not for therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time of in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And you know, he basically the Lord said plain. But uh, the the number of the streets in Jerusalem is the same number of um, altars you set up in the name of Baal, Christianity. Apostle Gabar did a video on Christianity being the number one religion on the planet, man. The number one religion on the fucking planet. 
So according to the number of the streets in Jerusalem is the number of uh, altar on the streets to burn incense to Baal, because that's who y'all worshiping. I mean, the Pope gave these Edomites the authority under Christianity through um, the Puritan Reformation. They tried. They re they reformed you to this, man. Mm -hmm. They reformed the, the the Latin tribes that was already over here and brought the Southern Kingdom from the western parts of Africa after they destroyed the um, southern kingdom strongholds over in Europe and put them into slavery and reformed you to this Christianity, man. But not to the ways and the truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and to, for you to call yourselves the people of Israel, the people of the Most High. You know, they, 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 they put, they wanted to make you, they made you forget pretty much. But now the Lord is selling the elect back up and making this truth that was without fruit known again. So, Psalms 96 and 5 real quick. Uh, For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Mm -hmm. Going on, you know, with, you know, a lot of people worship, you know, fake gods. You know. Is there still more on that? <laughs> uh, I got another one. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 10. But Yahweh is the true power. He is the living power and an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation. And Thus, to, Salakia, yeah, and to you would be Christians that may be watching this video, to those that may be possibly be sincere, I mean, when we say the name Yahweh, it means he to be or he who exists. You know, when the Most High gave. Uh, Moses, you know, his name, you know, he told them, I am that I am, you know. So when, Mo when Moses declared that name to the children of Israel, he spoke that in the Hebrew and, and um, the third person point of view of, you know, he who is or he to be. You know, he is the existing one. You know, this is um, 1 Corinthians, I mean, and, you know, to, you have to believe that by faith because, you know, you can go and look up you know, certain Hebrew dialects and probably say Yahweh or Yahshua and still be off. You know? Right, because there's no uh, ooh sound in the ancient Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew. All right. Um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at 1. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that ye were Gentiles or strangers carried away unto these dumb idols even as you were led you know and, you know just like the brother was going into you know just like how Israel is led astray by these idols unto this day wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the spirit of Yahweh call it Yahweh Shai a curse and that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is a Lord but by the Holy Spirit all right so those who pretty, I mean, those who pretty much would want to refuse that, you can pretty much say that they're antichrist because they're against Yahweh They're against the anointed. They're not of the Hamashiach at all. So they really should, can't even call themselves Christian. All right? All right, so, yeah, that was, yeah. It's Psalms 97 and 7. Well, if yeah. It says, uh, Confounded be all they that serve graven images that boast themselves of idols. You know, because, and, and that goes into, you know, our people serving other gods in these times that, that most sides make themselves you know, known to our people. You know? And part of that manifestation is breaking down that false image of, you know, that, that white, that Caucasian image of uh, Caesar Borgia, which they call Jesus Christ. You know, making known that it says plainly in the scriptures that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, will be a so-called Negro with, with woolly hair and a wool, and um, a woolly beard, white woolly beard. They can't you know? take that. No. This is First John chapter 5, verse 9. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of the Most High is greater. For this is the witness of the Most High which he hath testified of his son, he that believeth on oh, the that, son. Oh, no, that, that cuts that Trinity doctrine. Right. You know, they say his son. Yep. So, you know, that means 
His son has a father. Yep. He is the father. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is the father. Yahweh shines the son. Mm -hmm. He that believeth on the son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not, believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar because he believed not the record that the Most High gave of his son. Yep. Cut to Jesus' word. Huh. Yep. And, and this is the record that the Most High gave of Yahweh Shai. And we read in the record. So you, you, you can't have the spirit of the Heavenly Father if you don't believe the record. We reading right out of the record. No uh no muss, no fuss, you know. All that fancy talking. Okay, give me this scripture. Go ahead. <laughs> none, of, none of that bullshit. Yeah, Gina, so, <laughs> so if they say you can't eat pork, it's a doctrine of the devil. Hey man, but um I got yeah, I got a precept. That's, that's a nigga, man. Uh, yeah, this is um, <coughs> Matthew chapter 12, verse 35. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good things. As we, we declare in the mysteries and, and the truth to you plainly through through the words of your Bashem Yahshai, not our vain opinion, yeah. not, you know, us um, living in the doctrine by, you know, basically pushing, you know, things that's defiled, like saying you can eat pork, you can commit adultery, you can be a homosexual, you can be wicked, and still, you know, abide in the Most High's grace and favor. No, we're not saying that. You know, we're saying that, you know, basically you got to repent for the kingdom of heaven is near, you know. It says, um, a good man out of the good treasure of their heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. So that was him bringing forth, you know, the treasure of, of wickedness out of his own heart, out of his own mouth. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Mm -hmm. you know? So these pastors, I mean, they're bringing, they, they're pretty much declaring unto our people, you know, falsehood. Which brings which which they're gonna be given an account for their words and, and for and be judged for that, you know. And yeah. especially coming against you know, you know the Israelites that's bringing out out this truth now. Mm -hmm. This is Jude chapter one verse ten. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But that. what they know naturally as brute beasts and those things they corrupt themselves. Mm -hmm. And in those things, they do corrupt themselves. In Christianity, they corrupt themselves because they're speaking of the things they don't even know. They don't even believe, they don't even understand the seriousness of what they're getting into. They they're, they're understanding once that fire hit their ass, man. But until then, they, these pastors and these Christian churches don't even understand how serious it is what they're into. You know, the Lord is going to judge them. They don't really believe because they don't understand this truth. They, they just believe that they making a couple of dollars by fooling a few niggas by saying the white man is uh, is God. No. Filthy lucre, say. Huh? Huh. They doing way more than that. You leading the children of Israel astray. Something that the Lord ain't going to play with you with. Yeah, what he say, his indignation is upon, his indignation is upon the wicked. Righteous anger. You don't want the Lord to be angry with you, man. Huh. You want... You want to accumulate as much mercy as you possibly can. And, and Israel, we we have been a wicked-ass nation for a long time. And the Lord always dealt with us with mercy. This time, he's going yeah, he to put that unquenchable fire on you. I mean, in the long run, he's still dealing with us with mercy for all the multitude of our sins. He, he could have done away with us, but he didn't. But now he's finna... And th th why did y'all was shy for that? Come, come, come. Because we could have been totally done away with, you know, if y'all was shy hadn't done what he did. And the Lord has always dealt with us with mercy. But this time, he's going to put that unquenchable fire on you like he's going to do to other nations. That, that shit ain't going to be no fun. As a matter of fact, slavery wasn't no fun. Not the way they did it to us, you know. And you Jakes out there still want to worship the so-called white man, and you pastors out there still want to preach the so-called white man for filthy lucre, 
for no more than monopoly money because you have no real riches. Huh. Now, as far as slavery goes, you know, I was looking up an article on Christianity and slavery. You know, Yahweh, why you are might that might be my next sit down. But um, pretty much like as far as um, how they subjected us in slavery and captivity was due to the fact that, you know, according to their their Christianity and them trying to dehumanize us by saying that we're heathens, they, they ruled over us with, with rigor, you know. Mm -hmm. And that means, you know, with harshness, you know, with bitterness, man. But... And the kingdom is going to be the other way around. You know, we're going to have these these heathens in, in forced subjection, and we're going to rule over them with harsh harshness and rigor, man. You know? So the table's about to get ready to turn. The table's are turned. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ezekiel 33. You have more than that? No. This is Ezekiel 33. Uh, I'm going to start. It, um, um, verse 7. It says, So thou, O son of man, no, I gotta start up. It's like uh, this is verse Ezekiel thirty-three, verse five. No, I'll start verse. But six. yeah, Salak, yeah. But I'll, if the watchman no, yeah, see the because uh, I just wanted to. It, Salak, no, yeah, I, 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 I was just going based off the point that your Mark was saying saying about you know uh, preachers like uh, nigga Jenkins. <laughs> um, you know, this is First uh, Timothy six and three. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, mm -hmm. even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, you know, I mean, according to, it's according to the scriptures, it's according to the law, which Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book that you know it's a abominable thing to eat pork, or any to follow after anything that's not after sound doctrine, you know. So, I mean, that's an example of them considering not, not to hold some words, you know, even even the other truth, you know, concerning Yahweh Shah, because, you know, they refuse him. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, and evil surmisings. Because in the Arab, Esau is Esau, so in the Arab, Esau is Jesus. <laughs> Talking about I'm fucking words, man. Well, that's a nigga, man. I'm yeah. telling you, Akio, man. That's a nigga, man. That's a nigga, man. Just perverse, perverse disputings. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that means they 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 shouldn't even have the script. They shouldn't even be speaking a word about the scriptures, man. Right. They got perverse, defiled minds. So therefore, whatever they teach is pretty much defiled, man. Mm -hmm. They they defiling the gospel. Hey, how about Shem Yahushai? So they're gonna be put to death without mercy, man. Because mm -hmm. they leaving they they leading multitudes of our people for for the slaughter, man. They making it Esau for for uh, easy for Esau to um you know basically you know put them in subjection when this RFID chip comes into play. Mm -hmm. Real quick, uh, definition of perverse. It says of a person or their actions showing a deliberate and Obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable, often in spite of the consequences. Yep. It yeah. says uh, unreasonable, uncooperative, unhelpful, obstructive. What are they obstructing? The will of Yahweh by Shemayim Shai. You know? So they're heaping sin onto sin onto sin. Mm -hmm. They feel they're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Pig headed, mm -hmm. stubborn. Um, it says. Illogical, irrational, I mean, irrational, it's like unreasonable, wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't want to follow the ordinance of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, what he preordained, mm -hmm. which was for the children of Israel to, you know, follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Right, quick piece of you know. This is uh, John 5 and um, 45. It says, Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. Right. The law. Oh, the law is done away with. You know, you can need whatever you want now. Mm -hmm. And that's the, and this in red too. So that's your house shot speaking. You you can you can you can commit whatever act of wickedness 
He was like, as long as you pray to Jesus, he'll forgive you. It says, verse 47, But if ye believe not his writings, how shall, how shall ye believe my words? <laughs> hey. And the verse up say, written of him. So it's right. Like, it right. <laughs> You don't believe Moses' writings. You don't believe the law. How are you going to believe y'all are shy? That's why uh, Pastor Geno Jennings could say that eating pork, if somebody teach you against eating pork, is a doctrine of devils. Mm -hmm. Basically calling the law a doctrine of devils. Out of the same Bible that he's reading, that y'all shy preach the law, you're supposed to do the law, man. And wait, what did that, I mean, what did the wicked Pharisee say? That uh, Yahweh Shai was a, a, yeah, a devil? Yeah, he said, yeah, he said mm -hmm. Yahweh is a devil. So Geno, Geno Jennings is doing the same thing. Probably one of them niggas. Hell yeah, you know he was one of them niggas, man. But uh, let's just like uh, go ahead and cut that to pieces. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 1 John starting off at 2 verse 29 going into the third chapter. If you know that he is righteous, Yahweh Shai, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Because mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth, and the light. No man can come to the Father except by him. So in order to even get to the path of righteousness, <coughs> you have to be born in, of faith through Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. In order to hope to be righteous. Continuing on, First uh, John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the, of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Therefore... Because be, because we're going to be um, um, begotten through Yahweh Shai, you know. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him. It, because it knew him not. That's the reason why we get all the persecution that we go through for um, for um, confessing Yahweh Shai in the world. The love. Now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All right, and especially when, because when Yahweh Shai comes back with the chariots, you know, the elect that's still here on the earth, you know, to those that didn't die in Yahweh Shai, they're going to be made like him, like him, because our flesh is going to be changed, you know. Mm -hmm. We're going to go from these defiled, wicked bodies to those glorified bodies, you know. And our spirit, you know, it's just going to be amplified, you know. It's just when we get, when we see that change through when we get in the church. And every man that hath this hope in him, hope in him, purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Because if you believe in this, you're going to, I mean, you're going to take heed, you know. You call yourself believing in Yahweh Shai, you know, that, that's, that's pretty much how, how that's going to go, you know. It says, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. Even something as, um, something like eating pork, you know, which mm -hmm. the most I said is abominable, you know. But, I mean, if you're willing to transgress that, what else are you willing to transgress? You know, so it goes deeper. It gets even harsher, bro. It's even deeper than that. <laughs> and you know... That he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. So, you know, I mean, through our, I mean, our, it, it was because of our iniquities that he was put on a cross in the first place. It was because, because of our fuck-ups. Mm -hmm. Before our p p continual backslidings, you know. And it says, um, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. Even as he is righteous, he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of the Most High was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Mm -hmm. hey. And then that's the right. number you are, Gino you know, Jennings. You're a devil. Yeah, right along with all the rest yeah. of your pastor cohorts. And and the reason really. The biggest reason we getting on that nigga Geno Jennings because that nigga decided to call himself an apostle. And he's an apostle of the devil, man. He sent the way of Satan. That's who he is. And yes, if you know anything about them Masonic gestures, that nigga uses a lot of those Masonic gestures. Yep. All right. Because he sent the way of fucking Satan. And plus, you know, you know, you got 
you know, you got these Edomites, you know, that manage over, you know, these Jake um, uh, synagogues as far mm -hmm. as, you know, what they can teach and what they can't teach. Mm -hmm. You know, you, uh, you know, you got um, if, if they start teaching that Esau is is the devil, according to the Bible, Esau, they're going to lose their church. Mm -hmm. They're going to lose their funding. They're going to lose their 501c3. Mm -hmm. And they're going to lose most of their members. All right, it says, Whosoever is born of the Most High, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of the Most High. And this the children of the Most High are manifest, and the children of the of the devil. So that, that, that's, there you go. That's the classification of the two-thirds, as opposed to the elect. The, the wicked, which is Esau, which the two thirds follow, as opposed to the righteous. You know? Whosoever do doeth not righteousness is not of the Most High, neither he that loveth not his brother. All right, for this is the message that you heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him, because he his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. You know, and Cain, you know. Who, he, whose Hebrew name was Quayan, which mean, which means weapon or or you know piercing weapon, you know he slew Abel because Abel's work works pleased the Most High, you know. So that's the sin that set against the righteous from the beginning, just like um, Jacob and Esau. The Most High's um, promise and blessing fell fell upon Jacob and still rests with Jacob, while Esau, you know, plays the part of the wicked. Going around with the oppressing sword, you know, to, onto his, which which is going to bring about his own destruction when those thermonuclear missiles uh, be fired up, upon every place that Esau is in rulership to bring his his whole kingdom down. Uh, yeah, kind of, that's it. Uh, this is Second Timothy three, verse twelve. It said, "Yea." And all that will live godly in Yahweh Shah Mashiach shall suffer persecution. And that's why he made the video to us and addressing the Hebrew Israelites, you know. <laughs> he will come against us, you know. Verse 13, it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But that, that's, that's what's going on. He's deceiving and he's being deceived. But he thinks that he's doing a good work. And really what he's doing is evil. Huh. You know, he's speaking against Yahweh. He speaks against Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. All right? And we, we're not speaking of ourselves. You know, we, we're speaking the words of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh shy. You know? And, and, and Paul said, if this word, if this counsel be of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh shy, it would not, it would not come to naught. And why you think uh, you see Israelites popping up more and more on the YouTube? All right? Because this word has been pushed forth throughout the four corners of the earth, and, 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 and the elect is waking up. All right? Who's spreading power of y'all watching y'all shot? This is um, Hosea at 4. I could read the whole chapter, but I'm just going to start at 12. My people ask counsels at their stocks, and their staff declareth unto them. For the spirit of whoredoms have caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their God. They sacrifice upon tops of the mountain, and burn incense upon hills under oaks, and, and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore, your daughters shall commit whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery, for themselves are separate, separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that doth not understand shall fall. And that actually, that's that prophecy is happening right now. You know, the Lord said He wasn't gonna punish our daughters for being whores and our wives for committing adultery. Yeah. That's happening right now. That's been happening ever yeah. since, uh, ever since slavery, man. You know, your wife cheating on you can't do shit about it. Your daughter is going out being a harlot can't do shit about it. And then the Lord said, therefore, everybody that don't believe, guess what? They're gonna fall. Being found with child in her father's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Girl, if the we, father's yeah, there. If the father is there. Nine times out of ten, he ain't going to be there. Uh, 
most of the time it's not because most of the time it's not because he don't want to. Most of the time it's because the bitch kicked him out for whatever extenuating reasons. Because I was actually talking to somebody about that earlier and shit. How you basically you black bitches are so gone with whoredom and adultery mm -hmm. that y'all can't help yourself but to try to get the man out of your house, man. So y'all can uh, stay out of order. That's what you. That's what you do. That's why when um, two thirds die, a lot of them two thirds are gonna be you Israelite women, or you so-called black women, Latino women, and Indian women, because y'all strictly out of order. Mainly the American ones. I mean, it all goes back to the curses. Good. But go I mean, as far as you know, the single parent households, that's what keeps this. This whole disorder amongst Jake in operation. Gun. That, that's that's what keeps uh, you know, Jake being out of order, and how it keeps perpetuating itself. Because mm -hmm. the man ain't there to you know the spiritual, the spiritual man ain't ain't there to put things back in order. Okay. So, I got no, um, no. 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, Cast like, like that Christianity. Mm -hmm. you know, it, was, it, it used to be a stronghold, but now it's not a stronghold no more. I mean, Only to the two-thirds, you know? Yeah, I mean, because it's still the most... Uh, Worship religion on the planet, but it's dwindling. Yep. Cause the Lord, the Lord is pulling it down. The Lord's words is pulling it down. Cause all we are is vessels to speak the words of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Huh. His words is pulling down it because his words are the truth. And the Christian church is full of lies, man. The second one is that Muslim shit, full of goddamn lies, man. Anybody can, you know, anybody can accept. Right. Jesus the Christ. Right. Anybody can accept Jesus the Christ. <laughs> and Jesus the Christ is going to love him for it. Yeah. But the Most High, he's the one doing, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is doing the accepting. And you got to, you got to fit in with his plan before he'll accept you. Um, casting down imaginations and every, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And bring into captivity mm -hmm. every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. And uh, revenge all disobedience, the word there is punish. Punish all disobedience. You, you, you Jake's in the Christian church, and you, hey, you got many warnings. There's many videos going out, especially right now. So, you know, that time that time is real short. You got many warnings. But that grace period is going to end soon. How do we know? Because we're looking at the signs. World War III is just about a punish. We are in that 11th hour. So, hey, y'all got many warnings. If you don't take heed and you stick to that shit, hey, well, one, the Lord wasn't dealing with you in the first place. Two, you're going to be destroyed. Ezekiel, oh, yeah, yeah. This is Ezekiel 33, verse 7. It says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Hey, give them warning from me. In other words, all we're doing is give you warning from Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said he didn't come to... Uh, condemn the world he came to save it mm -hmm. that's what he came to do and he said those that don't believe on him is condemned already you niggas don't believe on him so. oh. when I say unto the wicked O wicked man thou shalt surely die if thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way that wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will I require at thine hand right so we doing what we got to do we warning why? Because we don't want our uh, we don't want your blood on our hands, and then he require our blood for not warning you. So we warning you. If you don't take heed, it's on you. Mm -hmm. Verse nine it says, 
Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked, if thou warn the wicked like what we're doing right now, of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Right. We we delivering our soul. We we hoping we of that number that uh, the Lord shows mercy to. So, hey, if you don't take the, the heed to the warning, that's on you. The warning is out there. And right now, YouTube is flooded. Actually, it's been flooded for a couple of years, if you ask me. Because anytime you type in, well, if you type in Bible, Hebrew Israelites is going to come up. Come so, hey, the word is out. One more. It says, uh, jump down to verse 11. It says, say unto them, as I live, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, mm -hmm. but that the wicked turn from his way and live. And that's talking about you Israelites, not the wicked that was created to be the wicked. Esau can't make it. The heathens don't got salvation. Let me go ahead and just turn why you, yeah, why you mm -hmm. want that note. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Right. Th there you go. Why will you die, O house of Israel? He has no pleasure in killing the wicked, O house of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. The wicked of Israel. Right. He ain't talking to everybody. He's talking to the children of Israel, man. Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who, mm -hmm. whose name was changed to Edom, God. who are the, the red people who call themselves so-called white people, mm -hmm. who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. No, nope. he sought it carefully with tears. No place of repentance. The Lord ain't dealing with you Edomites, man. This is only for the children of Israel. You Christians, you got it completely wrong. It's not for nobody else but the children of Israel. And if y'all got anything else. So, I mean, going back, I mean, because the Spirit just kind of took over, mm -hmm. you know. But, I mean, if you apply to, you know, all the of, all of Jake that get this RFID chip, they was made and set to get to get that RFID chip to be preordained to the condemnation that the, that the Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai, you know, through his word brought out. You know? mm -hmm. uh, this wanna, is a... I want to bring this out because he's basically saying... Uh, well, Esau is Edom. This is uh, Genesis 36 and 8. Mm -hmm. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. It says it's plain in the scriptures. Esau is Edom. Yeah. So, yeah. Look at that. This is, um, all right, this is uh, Revelation chapter 13. You know what? I'm going to start at verse 9 and read all the way down to verse 18. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And really that means any man who have understanding. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So who led, who led um, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into captivity under the guise of Christianity? Who did that? Esau. Who was authorized by the Pope and the Vatican to subject and sent out the um, the um, Puritan Reformation to you Native Americans to civilize you and, and 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 for you to accept Christianity? What nation of people did that? Mm -hmm. And you can just type in. And when you didn't reform, they slaughtered you. What? They 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 you, you know. Uh, and they they force you into captivity. Uh, you, you can go on Google. I, you know that you can just go to Google and type in red all over like a hairy garment. You know, you see you come up. And it says, uh, we go to images. It says Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. It got pictures of who Esau is. Mm -hmm. It gives examples of red all over like a hairy garment. And guess who come up? Caucasians. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Mount Seir. Yeah. I mean, this is the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh right here that those who have put one nation, of one nation that put another nation into captivity shall go into captivity. One nation who, who um, 
who killed another nation with the sword shall be killed with the sword. Does that not have happened to our people by these Edomites? By these red people? Yeah, hey, they got a historical record of it that they're trying to cover up. It's called the Translatic Slave Trade. That's why they got you stupid, idiotic, dumbass niggas out there trying to say that uh, the slave trade didn't happen. Uh, we, were, we were immigrant workers. That's what it's saying in their new school books. And you niggas is talking about, no, the slave trade didn't happen. We didn't mm -hmm. go to slavery overseas. We was already here. It only makes sense that we was already here. What That's the why fuck? you fucking tokens, you shuck right. job niggas, all y'all don't want to be joined onto Esau because you are of your father the devil. Mm -hmm. You know, you gonna hey, you gonna be just you gonna taste that missile fire, man. Yeah. Proverbs eleven and twenty one. No hand joining hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Mm -hmm. Hey, and you niggas need punishment. You niggas talking about East basically. You niggas is basically trying to disrupt or say that the prophecies never happened to us. That's yeah. basically what you niggas trying to do. So because the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai condemns these red people, you, you taking up for them, you thinking that they're not going to receive judgment? That, that's you think basically you're gonna, it. going to dissuade the, the judgment of Yahweh, the righteous judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? Right, because what nobody's saying that madness until uh, the truth started coming out. Years mm -hmm. later, all types of madness started mm -hmm. coming out. Oh, we immigrants. I mean, or we was already here. The slave trade never happened. Wow. Same thing with this flat earth garbage. The truth started coming out. Now the earth is flat again. Then you niggas went right back to the motherfucking, uh, what, 1300s and shit, man. Y'all went fucking stupid. The scriptures say the earth is, is a circle. And it's like, damn, you niggas just went fucking stupid as soon as the <laughs> They went yabba dabba do. Exactly, man. <laughs> no bullshit. Y'all just, just jumped into a cardboard box and started running saying, look at my wheels. Yeah. You niggas went fucking ape shit, man. Like, god damn. Soon as the truth started coming out, how far you how far will you go to protect these devils? Who cannot be protected? What 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 did the Lord say when he threatened uh, uh, who shall not be beating the powder, man? Shit. The Lord started threatening you niggas just went stupid, man. Y'all became straight up I, uh, I, I familiar babies, man. Or infamil, whatever Similac. type of GMO milk they got. Yeah, man. Similac offspring. Hell yeah, man. You niggas, goddamn. He saw he saw barely defend himself as well as you niggas defend him, man. Go ahead, huh? Alright. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, niggas, verse, verse 11. Uh, Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. You know, going back to, you know, Esau coming, rising from the Renaissance period. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. What was the what did the first beast represent? The um the Roman Empire. You know, before Jake took over, you know, when Esau was as in rulership as the Greco Romans. The Holy Roman Empire. Right. You know. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth and that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live right because i mean once these devils got back into power and they set up their image and promoted themselves as the, the people and the chosen of the most high <laughs> they deceived the whole world man. Yeah, yeah you you would call it these days white supremacy that's the image of the beast right now is white supremacy where mm -hmm. crackers is God the system is of God you know Jesus in Christ in God we right. trust exactly in God they trust Jesus Christ is a is, is, is a Caesar Bogier's mm -hmm. image uh, a, a grungy Edomite with long ass girly hair and shit 
that loves everybody and loves giving out goddamn flowers and shit. I think of that uh, Caesar Bojer image with the two thumbs up. Right. <laughs> yeah, that nigga, man. Yeah. You believe in him, he'll give you two thumbs up. You don't believe in him, he'll give you one thumbs up. I mean, goddamn. No matter what you do, he giving you a thumbs up. Yeah. And he had power to give <laughs> life onto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Hey, and that's coming, man. Those who would not worship the image of the beast, who not, would not worship white supremacy should be killed. That's coming. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. Right, because that's going to show the proof. That you worship the image of the beast when you get that mark. Straight up. Or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Letting you know, hey, the mark of the beast. Once you receive that mark of the beast, they know you worship the image of the beast, which is this system. That means because you trust in oppression. Right. Mm -hmm. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And there's no coming back from that. Once you get that mark, it's over. Revelation 14, starting at verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Right, because you have to worship the beast and his image. Basically, you got to worship this system. And receive the mark in your right hand or in his or in your or receive the mark in your hands or in your forehead. It don't matter which hand. Or in your forehead. There's a judgment for that once you receive it. It don't matter if you receive it and take it out. You already received it. So you you basically uh chose your side. You chose your alliance. So this is the judgment, because there is no coming back from the judgment. Yeah. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh which is poured out without mixture onto the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, which is the chariots, and the, in the presence of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Because Yahweh Shai is going to be coming back to redeem the elect and one-third that believed on him, while two-thirds of our people, who was already ordained to condemnation, who, who pretty much going to receive that, that um, RFID chip, they're going to be set aside for aside to be um, burnt in thermonuclear fire. And mm. in the presence of Yahweh Shai and the angels when they appear. And that's the judgment for receiving the mark of the beast. There is no, oh, I got the mark, but I took, I, I took it out. No, there's none of that. You can't take it out. Once you receive it, that, hey, you you know what you got coming. You you know you're going to be a... a, a Fan food for the missiles. You're going to make the missiles burn hotter. Uh, this is Jeremiah 51. Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to hear it. Uh, this is Jeremiah 51. Um, I'm going to start at 6. It says, Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. And we're in that time right now. I mean, we're in the beginning of that time. You'll know when we end the time of the Lord's vengeance, because it ain't going to be like this. Uh, most likely, it ain't going to be no more videos coming out. I, I wouldn't be doubt it if there will not be an internet at that time, man. <laughs> says, he, he will render unto her a recompense. You know, because, you know, th that, and that's, that's a, a warning, you know, to our people that, you know, how about your mouth shot is putting forth, you know, because... He's getting ready to judge his place, and you got, like, like the brother's going too early, you know, Jake not getting right, you know. But, you know, the two-thirds ain't going to get right, so we're not concerned mm -hmm. with the two-thirds. Nope. And then neither should you brothers be out there concerned with the two-thirds, you know. Uh, hey, she going to have family members that ain't going to make it. They're going to mm -hmm. get that chip, be hauled off to a concentration camp. Your wife might not even make it. You know, right. Hey, it, that's real. Your children, mm -hmm. you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, that should make you want, you know, that should make you, you know, go even harder, you know. That should motivate you, you know, to, you know, do the work, you know, uh, you know, be more diligent, you know. 
Cause hey, hey, the day of y'all watching y'all shot, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, destroying uh, America and various parts of the earth is, is near, man. And it's hastening greatly because you see the things uh, uh, that Yahweh Shah gave as signs of uh, just, this uh, come destruction. It's like, you know, you no. Know, you see the uproars of the people. You see the nation rising against nation. You see the famines going on in different various parts of the earth. You see the pestilence going on. You, you see the definitely see the wars, the rumors of wars. All right. This is Jeremiah 11 and 14. I did read it earlier, but I'm going to read it again. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry nor a prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And that includes family members and associates, mm -hmm. so-called friends in the world that refuse right. this truth when, you know, you may have tried to, trying to bring this to, to light to them. Mm -hmm. that, that trouble is Jacob's trouble. Yep. Yeah, but just that's that's when you know shit gonna be all hell gonna be broke loose. You know, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna be able to seek your about shot then. Nope, if you ain't seeking him now, yeah. it's gonna be too late. Seeking while he may be found. Right. You know, yep. it's gonna be too late after this. You know, we went to the feminine word this past weekend. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's getting ready. Where you know you, you ain't gonna have the prophets out speaking no more. No. Nope. You gonna have the uh, as apostles out. That's why I believe it ain't gonna be no internet no more. Huh. You ain't gonna be able to. This word is abundant. You type in he anything that says Bible, Hebrew, or Israelite on it, you gonna get the brothers' videos. You gonna get some sort of brothers' videos pop up if you type in any three of those major uh key words, man. So the 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 truth is abundant right now. Huh. So that famine must be coming. There was a time when the truth wasn't so abundant. You had to go directly to the Elder Apostles page. Gun. And it was getting like thousands of hits. Gun. Then, Gun. you know, once more and more Jake started coming into the truth, you know, mm -hmm. you had camps here and there. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Then you, then you got the scoffers that yep. came against it. Yep. And that yeah. even um that even beefed up the word even more. That beefed up the truth even more. Because mm -hmm. so these scoffers, flourished, yeah. Like they, that, that um, little grain of mustard seed that just mm -hmm. flourish into a, a flourishing tree now. Okay. Yeah, now this, you know, being revealed. I mean, mm -hmm. we about to receive the inheritance of the, of the tree of life, life once again. Okay. So this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors. And this, this that's, that's that um that prophecy is coming to pass as we speak. Mm -hmm. That's been coming to pass ever since the uh ever since the now known as apostles of Great Millstone has been learning the truth, man. When yeah. uh when the school was first brought, when when the school was first uh 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 brought up, they started going on the streets back then. They just yeah. didn't have the unicorn yet. Once the unicorn came, it was over. Like wildfire. You know? So, and, and, and brothers are standing up in great boldness in front of the face of those that afflicted. Yeah. Hey, we right outside in front of the devil's face calling him the devil. You know, they, um, the, uh, they, they, um, cops be rolling by, you know, patrolling, you know, wanting to do something to us. They, they mm -hmm. want us to get up, get us off, off the street. Mm -hmm. We um well, number cops. one. I mean, mm -hmm. but we number one on the list of you know Project Megiddo, which is you know Esau's you know anti -ter terrorism mm -hmm. thing. You know, it says um, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all they look for. And then that, that the chariots beaming up the elect, you know. And being in trouble with terrible fear, these devils are terrified at what we're preaching. Terrified at it. A, a so-called black Jesus, that scares the bejesus out of Edomites. <laughs> that, that scares the bejesus out of Edomites. It does. Black people saying that uh, the Bible is their salvation, right. not white people's salvation. They, hey, a couple weeks ago, a cracker said, oh, they're out here every week. I don't know why. No, you know why, devil. You know why we out here, and you and you and you afraid to say anything about it. 
That's why you waited till you got a little bit up the street to say what you said, man. It was an Edomite woman, this time. and I think the next mm-hmm. week, following week after that, it was an Edomite woman that that was in a group, and pretty much she wanted to hear what we were saying, but her friend just yanked her. Mm-hmm. Just, no, don't go right. back there. You don't want to hear it. That was a spirit. Right, because once they hear it, it, it never leaves them. It fucks them up. Mm-hmm. Their whole life is fucked up after they hear the truth. You know, Esau can't deal with the truth. No. Not even a little I bit. Was, I was joking earlier. I was saying uh, when he when he read the uh, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness mm-hmm. in, in the face of such as afflicted him. Mm-hmm. I was I was joking. I said in my mind, I said I did it yesterday. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know, but you know, it, you know, it, it is what it is, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you, the truth is it's, it's the truth, man. Okay. You go. You either gonna. You either gonna uh, beat for the cause, as uh, King Masha said. You gonna beat for the cause. Mm-hmm. We gonna keep on moving, <laughs> you know. But you know yeah, that, that's true, man. You, you, you got a lot, of, you got a lot of jakes, man. That they just fucking rebellious, man. Stiff mm-hmm. neck, man. You come in with the truth, they look at you like you fucking got three heads, man. Yeah. I'm gonna read down to verse 16 mm-hmm. for edification, and anybody that wanna interpret, go ahead. Mm-hmm. This is a uh, verse three, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, five, <laughs> verse three. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Mm-hmm. As <laughs> okay. Esau. Yeah, they go, they go be like, damn. Two these thirds are the as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are the, con, two thirds as well. These the motherfuckers the Lord chose? These cussing niggas on the street? Now they gonna, they gonna <laughs> think they, they gonna think they on that day, they gonna be, they gonna be looking like, they was the real men of the Lord. We talking right. shit about them. Right. Now they being beamed up. We, right. And these missiles coming. Right. They're going to be, hey, they're going to be sick. Yep. Christians going to be like, but they didn't love everybody. Faggot. <laughs> sick. Right. Faggots, <laughs> faggots going to get, um, they going to no, no fuck the faggots running rapid around here, man. Right. In America, man. They're going to get the horn. They're they, they being gathered for that fire. Yeah. Right. They're going right. to they fulfill know, they, that uh, nomen omen. You know, <laughs> motherfuckers going to be <laughs> mad as hell at white Jesus in that day. <laughs> Like, why ain't you saving me? I love right. everybody. No, you know, you know, faggots gonna think it's uh, raining a uh, fiery deal, though. Right. right. Yeah. All you fucking faggot scoffers out there, man. Yeah. Faggot motherfuckers, man. You know, that's that, that's some bullshit too. You faggot scoffers, man. You you putting faggot comments on the uh, comment board, man. That's right. I mean, what kind of fucking men are you, man? Are you men at all, motherfucker? You know, you they they possibly hard like to play with, you know, thinking about mm-hmm. King Son and so and so and so and so. Like what kind of faggot shit is that, dog? Right. That's why y'all. That's why y'all been the coming board, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all know, I man. Y'all know we a fucking snap, man. Mm-hmm. With words, though, man. The wor- words of who? Y'all about right. y'all shot. Weapons of our warfare, not crime. We fucking man, it's cut you up to the spirit. Mm-hmm. Had looking like shit, like G man. But they already know that. And G man is a fucking emotional woman, man. How you looking like G baby out there, man? All right. That nigga is the most emotional nigga that I've seen. Even even the other niggas that that bat for Christianity ain't as emotional as him. He don't come out with no scriptures. He don't try to twist none around because he don't know shit. He just want to argue, man. That's that's what women do. They argue with no logic, no logical reasoning, no type of reasoning at all. Huh. And that's what that nigga came out there doing. And then he said he don't even have his Bible. Uh, trying to borrow the uh, the apostles. Well, not even borrow. Just good. talking shit against the apostles while they're reading straight out of the Bible and he didn't have no Bible and he knew he was coming to that battle. That nigga was, that nigga was out there doing some old Facebook live shit just for the hell of it. Good. I mean, real talk. Cause man, he, you know, man, first of all, you all got your rabbit ass mind, dog. You know you know the other apostles about doing the work of y'all about your mouth shot, pushing these uh, uh, scriptures, man. Right. These prophecies, man. So if you know you come out there to see them, the, the wisest thing that should come in your fucking mind is these men are men of the Bible. Mm-hmm. They teach the Bible. I need to prepare myself if I'm gonna have a counter argument against what they're teaching. For the natural man cannot receive things of the spirit. Right. They are spiritually discerned, man. Right. They, 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 they spiritual, they man. He's, the spirit, he's a natural G man. G baby is a natural nigga, man. Yeah. Yeah. And you want and you and you want to you know Jesus' word, man. That either, Mike, man. It says, uh, so was, oh, well, oh, 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 oh,
uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 4. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. <laughs> y'all out there, y'all, y'all still, still out there on the streets, man, <laughs> teaching that word. Ain't nothing happened yet. Hey, man, uh, these niggas gonna die out there just teaching the word. You gonna get yours, cuz? Right, right. Hey, niggas, <laughs> niggas always threatening us. Hey, there's a few comments on our old videos that niggas is still threatening us. Well, yeah, you come to the wrong church, they gonna find out. What? We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have threats before. Right. We didn't we have, have so niggas many threats. Say, when well, I come so back in, in 20 minutes or whatever, so <laughs> you, right. y'all better not be on this block. Right, right. right. Y'all better not be on this block. Still, right, Fuck you, nigga. Yeah, we, and we'll be on the block you, for a whole extra nigga. hour just and in case this nigga want to show up, man. Because yeah, the angel is going to... The angel is going to put your ass through a freeway sign or some shit, man. This is Galatians 4.16. Yeah. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And that's the truth right there. <laughs> right. The, the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles, starting with Apostle Tahar, on down to the least man, have become enemies to the world for telling the truth. Man. And, and you know what happens when you tell a little bit of truth. Man, you, you tell a little bit of truth, Motherfuckers is on your head ready to kill you already. But you tell the whole truth? Man, the world is against you. Like, goddamn. All oh, these niggas come. Hey, just make sure you don't mention nothing about the Bible. Because they will talk to you. You know? That's how you niggas are, man. Yeah, yeah, man. He gonna talk to me about Bible stuff, man. Yep, yep. You niggas act like, hey... The most oh. devout Christians don't want to talk you nothing know. about the Bible, man. Shit. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High, and his lot is among the saints? Yeah, how is these niggas the one the Lord chose? I've been a, I've been a, uh, a devout minister for 20 odd years. <laughs> doing the best I can. Right. Not, not doing the best. Hey, manipulating the people. I done brought so many people to Christ. And you motherfucking IUIC members better listen to that. You done brought so many people to Christ, man. And the Lord is going to fuck you up for that. Mm-hmm. You better start using his name. You you sincere you sincere brothers out there. You better start using his name before the Lord fuck you up, man. Because the Lord will... The Lord, if you, if you part of his elect, hey, you're going to be saved. The Lord might just fuck you up. To let you know you better change your shit. But if you sincere, you better just change your shit before you get fucked up. Because you sincerely believe in his name. And right now is is a ripe time to be teaching his name. And there really is no reason to teach that, that Christ title no more. The Greek title Christ. The Greek, the Greek name Jesus. There's no more reason to teach that name. Because everybody, when you say Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, people know that name now. That name is out there. Mm, huh. That name is out there. <laughs> even what? Even they be saying Yeshua, Yahuwah, and um, all that stuff. The name Yahweh and Yahweh shy is the real names, and it's out there. You don't have to use uh, Jesus Christ and Most High Blessed no more. You can use the real name because huh. they know that those names is out there. And they're trying to figure out which is the real names. Even though we're teaching it and breaking them down, the real names is out there. You don't have to say, oh, I'm just saying it so the people can understand. No, they understand now. It's been years. They understand that the names is out there. So, like, yeah, and also, you know, where Paul mentioned, I will know not the recognition of speech thereof, but the power. Right. I mean, There's, the power ain't in the names of Yah- Yahweh, Yahshua, or, or Jesus, or, or Jehovah. Yeah, it's, it's not in there. I mean, all of these works that you got all these different camps popping up, bringing out the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh That's a manifest sign that all of this is being done through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh because they wouldn't be popping up if Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai's names were not the real names, didn't have the power behind it. Yeah. That's why people talk shit against us. Mm-hmm. The ones that teach the truth doctrine. They don't really talk about all the camps, you know, like that. They they do mention, but they mainly come at, you know, uh, Great Millstone, man. 
because Great Blue Zone is more of a camp that's got no muss and no fuss, just the straight truth and with no chasers Chaser. behind it. <laughs> but the most recognized, you know. Mm-hmm. The most recognized is why because the spirit of y'all watching y'all shots dealing with the other parts of Great Millstone, mm-hmm. man. The true men of Great Millstone, okay? This is Romans 1 and 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shai, for it is the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Huh. Wait a minute, the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, says, it says, for it is the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Right. He would, you, he would know the power thereof, man. And there's got to be power behind that name. That's why so many people is popping up um, following it. Mm-hmm. So many people is popping up preaching this word, man. Because there's power behind that name. And to follow up behind you, it says, um, this is Romans 10 and 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm-hmm. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right. First, you, faith is a must. You can't have it without faith. Starts with faith. Okay. It starts with faith. Okay. And then your works to show you, you how much faith you have. All right. Mm-hmm. Showing your works. Mm-hmm. All right. And how shall they believe in him and of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Well, right. guess what? The Most High has sent out um, preachers or prophets after mm-hmm. his own heart to mm-hmm. declare you the truth. So now you have heard. Mm-hmm. You can't say you haven't heard the name Yahweh. Right. Now all it is is where's your faith? Do you believe? And most of you niggas, hey, you Christians, y'all don't believe. That's why you're not going to be saved. That's why the Lord is going to utterly destroy you. Well, not utterly, because he's going to leave that small remnant, which we hoping we're part of that small sanctuary that he's going to leave. But he's going to destroy you in a bad way. Then y'all gonna come back as our kids and stuff. But, you know, y'all gonna be ashamed and shit uh, once the Lord put that remembrance in you and shit. The, sh- the shit you've done in your past life, especially this one, man. Precept says Matthew um, 11 and 16. It says, But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. And saying, we have piped unto you, and ye have not danced, we have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. Hey, we piping unto you right now. You ain't dancing. We mourning unto you, and you're not crying, man. All the, all the bullshit Jake been went through, you don't cry for that. Huh. All the, the, the song, this new song, this great gospel we teaching to you, that we're the children of the Most High, and the Most High is going to save us out of this. Y'all not dancing to it. Y'all don't even, y'all act like y'all don't hear the tune. Matter of fact, you're against the tune. You should be overjoyed. Right. It's like y'all, you niggas love, you niggas love rap music uh, downing your people more than you love the music of the most high uplifting your people. No, this ain't, this ain't got a beat behind it, so, you know, it's not entertaining. Right, right. This ain't entertaining. This shit is educational. Let me turn this shit. You know? This ain't uh, going with, uh, you know, what your flesh will prescribe to you, you know, all for, for out of the heart cometh adulteries, fornications, wickedness, mm-hmm. deceits, mm-hmm. you know, all, all of what they spit in these fucking verses. Right. Th- this ain't that, so you just shun it and turn away from it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, this so, ain't GMO. So GMO I'm, just must taste good to you niggas. Since I'm in the 11th chapter of Matthew, let's jump down to 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that's what we're doing. You know? Mm-hmm. That's what the that's what the hopeful elect is doing. Alright. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You're right. I mean, I, I mean, damn! You being through the mercy, uh, y'all watching y'all shot. You called into this. Many mm-hmm. are called, but few are chosen. And all you got to do is re- rehearse the righteous acts, mm-hmm. put off that old man, and just do the work. Right. Just do the work on to the end. And if right. you, and if, if, even if you have to forfeit your life 
for this truth. So the fuck what? You gonna you gonna be one of the first race with y'all shot anyway. Right. But you gonna you you gonna hope for the hope for the best, even though because Esau gonna come down down against you know us pushing this truth. Mm-hmm. You know, you hope for you hope for deliverance mm-hmm. even through that. Right. And, and and the riches, the great riches that we are gonna get is not comparable to the sufferings that we go through right now. I mean, the reward is way more than the sufferings that we're going through. It'll be, it's going to be like nothing. Because the reward is for an eternity. The suffering, this is only for a short period of time. It's all, and it's almost over. We at the end of it. That's it. You don't have anything else? This uh, says, um, what is my Solomon chapter 5 verse 6? Mm-hmm. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us. Mm-hmm. That goes for you Christians. That goes for you two thirds. Any 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 of our people, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that's not heeding on to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai through us waking up to the fact that we the Israelites. You know y'all y'all shining away the truth, man. You know, and y'all y'all refu- yeah basically y'all refusing the light of Yahweh Shai. You know. It says, um, and the sun of, of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What hath pride profited us, or what good hath riches with our vaunting brought us? Mm-hmm. All right, because, you know... That's, I mean, that's what this world is pretty much about, you know, pride and uplifting yourself, you know, and scriptures say when one have pride, pride is the, the beginning of, you know, of, of sin because you fall away from, from the most high, you know, when you have pride, you know, and um, it says um, all things are passed away like a shadow. And as a post that hasted by, and as a ship that passeth over the waves of the water, which when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found, neither the pathway of the kill in the waves. All right. Or, or as when a bird hath flown through the air, there is no token of her way to be found, but the light air being beaten with the stroke of her wings, and parted with the violent noise and motion of them, is passed through. And there and afterwards, no sign where she went is to be found. Or like as when an arrow is shot at a mark, it parted the air, which immediately cometh together again, so that a man cannot know where it went through. Even so, we in like manner, as soon as we were born, began to draw to our end, and had no sign of virtue to show, but were consumed in our own wickedness. Hey, that, hey that's you two-thirds in a nutshell. Right. You come, you live, and then you disappear like you never was here in the first place. There's no remembrance of you. There's not, there's not going to be any remembrance of the wicked. It's going to be the same thing with you Edomites. You came, you, you ruled for a while. Once the kingdom of heaven comes, you know, that, that, that air pocket is going to close up quickly. You're going to be like, what the fuck? Once Esau is gone, it's going to be what the fuck happened to them? Those people really exist, <laughs> you know. Right. Only thing is going, only thing that we gonna know that you, you devils really existed is because we gonna still have records of you devil. But it's gonna be like you, you was a, just a bad fucking dream. <laughs> That's how it's gonna feel to to Jay. Like you was just a fucking nightmare, you know. Like, oh my goodness, all this shit really happened. You know, when you read a fable or some shit. Or when you read history, it's like, is that real? Come on, that couldn't happen. Or when your dad tell you some um, some tall tale or some shit that really happened to him, and it just seems unbelievable. That, that's how this shit is going to be, man. These devils really rule like that. They really do all that stuff to us. You know, but the men of the Lord that actually make it through this, they're going to remember. They're going to recall all of this, you know living through it and we 
And we um, hope that we're part of that number. Job 24 said, Knowing thou, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite before a moment? Right, because a day with the Most High is as a thousand years. Even though, you know, Esau got this little small stretch of rulership, it's going to be nothing in comparison to the kingdom. Sure. When Yahweh Shai comes and, dis and dismantle Esau's whole kingdom and set us up in rulership, our kingdom is going to last forever. Verse 6, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reached into the clouds. Now you speak about Esau. God. It says, yeah, he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream. <laughs> like your brother said, mentioned, mentioned a moment ago. Yep. Say he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Hey, once this shit is over with, it's gonna be like a, just a just a motherfucking nightmare. You think about a nightmare for a moment, but ten minutes into your day, it's like, well, what the hell? I, what what was it that I was dreaming about? You know, right? Slow down. Sure, man. This is uh, Obadiah verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, representing the house of Israel, mm -hmm. and the house of Esau, Edom, so-called white people, mm -hmm. for a stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. He gonna say it what, brother? <laughs> there shall not be any remaining. Come on, man. You can't do away with our Caucasian brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga Jenkins. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I thought Esau was the Arab man. <laughs> you mean to tell me you're going to destroy the oh, cave Esau. man, the counterpart that came out of our forefather Isaac womb? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, testicles? <laughs> so, so, he, so easy a caveman can do it? Right. Come on, man. He's going to destroy so easy a caveman can do it. <laughs> Somewhere he whipped our backs <laughs> and raped our women right before our eyes. That's okay, man. Come on, just give him a chance. Everybody need that one chance, brother. You gotta be somebody righteous in that seed. <laughs> it says, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has who, spoken. Who, who spoken right. it? For the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has spoken. So hey. Gino, what are you gonna do about that? You gonna change right. the Lord's mind? <laughs> right. You gonna say, Lord, this ain't right. Lord. You gotta allow this, Esau. This, this is Apostle Geno Jenkins, <laughs> and uh, I think you should change that. So when you say killing the so-called white man, that is a doctrine of devils. <laughs> What's our <laughs> smite? Thing? Hell yeah, the Lord is gonna snipe you, nigga. <laughs> smite yeah. you real quick, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so going continuing back. This is uh. Wisdom of Solomon, verse 5 and 14. For the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind. There is no hope. <laughs> Damn! Esau is going to be put away. There is no <laughs> ever, hope. And ever, ever. Right. <laughs> the dust that's blown away in the wind, you don't yeah. never see it again. Can the dust fight back against the wind? <laughs> no. The <laughs> dust just blows and it's over. It's, it's like, blows and blows. where the fuck did it go? It's like you never see that pile of dust the same ever again. It's like that dust is gone, man. And if you take chasing dust in the wind, <laughs> hey, I don't need to tell you how stupid you are. Like a thin froth that is driven away with the with the storm. Like as the smoke which is dispersed here and there with a tempest and passes away as a remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. <laughs> right. A guest that tarrieth but a day. I mean, if you, okay, let's say you meet somebody. You let them stay in your crib for a day. Uh, let, let's, let me put it in a better perspective. You meet a bitch. You fuck the bitch because she stayed the night at your house. And you never seen the bitch again. Are you going to worry about this bitch? Uh, no. You got your rocks off. She stayed one day. Better yet, you let this, this bitch stay one night and you didn't fuck her. And she was on her way the next day. Mm -hmm. In the morning. Hey, 
it, it, it's over by the end of the day. Hey, I ain't never seen this bitch. Oh, uh, bitch who? <laughs> the bitch on the couch. Oh, oh, that bitch. I ain't never seen her again. Uh, Proverbs 17 and 15 it says, He that justifies the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. So y'all just as abominable as a goddamn faggot or a motherfucker that eat pork. <laughs> Shit. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord and the care of them is with the Most High. Hey, the righteous live forevermore. And their their righteousness is with the Lord. In other words, especially the really going into the elect, they're gonna live forever, man. We hope and we part of that number because hey, that's a special reward to be in hell and get saved from this hell and be in the kingdom where we live forever and have you know wonders beyond the the scope of our minds man all right yeah the con because i mean the elect is going to be partakers of the tree of life i mean which is right. which brings about immortality right. so you know just like you know we we lost that mm -hmm. the time of adam but mm -hmm. now through yahweh shai we get we're we getting that back right? right and then we're going to be able to have lived on this side to see the judgment of our enemies. This is uh, verse 16. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah's hand. Mm -hmm. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. Hey, that's, that's a beautiful uh, statement right there, man. Anybody got anything? Right. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it for me. Alright, so um, we're going to close out. I want to give all praises and glory to you. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh. Double line say Apostle Elder is a great millstone. And salutations and greetings to you, Akim, out there laboring for the for the faith. And may you endure unto the end. Come on. Come on. Come on.